Yeah, we came with a game plan to get a good foot in the game. No surprise when it was nil nil at half time with no with neither team uh, having clear cut chances or uh, looking like they they were going to go on to win. So uh, again, very respectful of the team that we're playing against. We had to nullify them, staff for them, and I think we did that. Uh, knowing then we had some uh, some of the, the big guns to come on as well. Uh, ideally, we, we were open to trying to get to the last 15 minutes and then bring them on uh, to get that impetus. Uh, as it was, we came on and chasing the game. And I think in the last 15, 20 minutes, I think we created enough chances uh, to well, certainly, to, certainly to uh, to win the game or definitely take it to penalties. So I think the pleasing thing was we got back to our uh, our way of playing, how we wanted to play, uh, and we. Uh, we, we, well, uh, we give them a lot of problems with with the ball in the first half, but without having that cut and th cut and edge, and, and not, uh, it wasn't only I think our pass selection, our decision making going into the final third was a little bit loose at times. Uh, we did very well to work the ball and, and get the ball out, and then our last pass out wide didn't have the care and attention that uh, that it merited or needed. I must admit, for the best part of the first hour up until their goal, there was a feeling that it was all, it felt a bit like a training game as much as a competitive game. Were you a bit disappointed that you weren't really taking the game at some of the teams that you have in recent weeks? Um, well, to, well, to be honest, uh, we, we came to, to nullify and stifle them, um, we, we, which, which I thought we did. Uh, we, uh, we, we cramped the midfield, we had some good passages of play and we, we were able to break their lines and get, and get away from them and cause problems. And then I just felt we just lacked that little bit of quality um, and our decision making when we're going from the the middle third where we got where we had good dominance and then we then you try and say well go on now get it out wide and some of our decision making on the ball and off the ball some of the, some of the things that we tried working on uh, with our midfield players making late runs uh, to split their centre back and full back um, the, at times we were a little bit untidy in the final third but again uh, but, you know, can't remember we're coming to a League One club um, that's got good players uh, a good infrastructure and a good balance to their team and we and we cause them good problems. Chabo Berry had a great August. It's a terrible start to September, isn't it? Three chances and no goals for him. I know, no, absolutely shocking, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely shocking. I think it did it, seem it, like he could have actually won you the game, let alone got you to penalties tonight. Unfortunately, just didn't quite have that finishing touch. No, uh, hey, again, the, the pleasing thing is you get a centre forward and he's, he's getting chances. Uh, and again, I think you've got to give them credit as well. Good defending, clearing the line, block, uh, getting blocks uh, in front because they know how dangerous he is. Uh, and I think the cross just hit him on the head. Um, no, you know, uh, I'll take it. Uh, I'll accept it. Jabbo misses a chance. It'd probably be headline news as well. You know, the bubbles burst. It's all over. And, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, he's got, you know, no, it's one of those. Jabbo's going to score us goals. He's going to score us lots of goals. He's going to get us chances. We will win football matches play, uh, playing the way that we play today. Uh,